All right, so here's how to handle H2s on Screaming Frog. So navigate on over to the H2 tab here, and then you're gonna work on this filters thing. So the first one that's on the dropdown is missing. Missing's not necessarily a problem. H2, obviously being a sub of H1, it would be the second most important thing on your page. Now you can have a couple H2s, that's not necessarily a problem, but having no h2 is also not a great thing so if possible you go check out these pages that don't have one and figure out a way to add one again these e-commerce pages auto generated they're not indexed anyways so don't have to worry about those but uh, these three those will be pages that I would uh, consider adding an h2 if possible in some way that includes the keywords that we're trying to target for those pages second drop down would be a duplicate page now this one highlights a really interesting situation so you'll notice here that you see a lot of the same words. Now some of this you'll be able to easily fix just in the editor. A lot of it will require a developer. So a lot of these things are wrapped in an H2 tag. You can grab any of these. Let's go to this one. Go here. And what is an H2 is actually this right here. Let's inspect it. You'll see the H2 is wrapped around workshop way. Now that is not an important thing to highlight on every single page of this website. This would be, but, or every, but not, not this. So you hit edit and you'll notice right away, there's nowhere to edit workshop way, those words. <clears throat> They're not here. So a developer needs to get in there and fix that so that that's not there. Tell your developer, hey, I noticed this thing. Can we fix it and make this not an H2 in that scenario? The other thing that we have is a lot of these pages are e-commerce pages. And when you look at an e-commerce page, the e-commerce page down here at the bottom, so this will be an H1. Let's inspect that. Let's see an H1. That's correct. But this is an H2. Now that's WooCommerce out of the box. Um, they should not do that. WooCommerce should fix that. Please, WooCommerce, if you're listening, fix that. Um, so there are ways to change the template files so that that's not an H2. It can be styled as an H2, so we can do a span class with an H2 tag, and that way, that way it looks the same, but it's no longer an H2. But again, this is something that a developer is going to have to change for your specific website. Again, repeated with, you may also like, which is the same thing. Might be on this very page now, so we'll do a new tab. And then you may also like, you may also like, this is going to be the same scenario. And then see another H2. And then last but not least, description. Oh, this one actually might be different, so let's see where this one is. So this one we may be able to change if possible. Oh man, those pictures need fixed. Description. If this is in the editor, change it from an H2 to just a regular old span or something. Um, so that it's not an H2 because that is not a highlighted word. That is not a keyword of the page, so it should not be in an H2. Uh, so yeah, that's how you handle the duplicates. Um, if there are, actually none of these are just straight up duplicates. If there is a duplicate and it's just in the text, just go in and edit it and change it to be something different than the match on another page. Try to keep them unique. Over 70 characters, not a huge concern, although if you're getting over 70 characters in a heading tag, it should probably be something else just by rule of thumb. So these three, they can probably be shortened or turned into a text block in some way. Um, so I would look at those. And then the last one is multiple. This one is not a concern at all. You actually can have multiple H2s. Um, it's not a big deal. So having two on a page is just fine. Although now we've learned these are actually issues that will get resolved via the duplicate problem. So that's how you handle H2s on Screaming Frog.